Most animal owners, of course, would never think of leaving behind their family pet in a fire, but saving those small lives can be a challenge during an emergency. As Rob Sneed found out new at 530 for you, one Miami Valley Fire Department received some new equipment that will increase your pet's chance of survival. Hi, Rob. At Katie, the Veterinary Associates Hospital in Xenia donated pet oxygen masks to the Xenia Fire Department. Now, I'm told not having them can mean the difference between life and death. No one expects an emergency like this to happen at their home. And this situation can be more devastating when fire departments aren't able to save your pet's life. And a lot of times in a house fire, uh, you know, we do encounter pets that have been overcome by smoke. And that's why the Veterinary Associates Animal Hospital in Xenia and the Ohio Veterinarian Association donated these pet oxygen masks to the Xenia Fire Department. It's life-saving equipment that Captain Jason Kinley says his crew was in need of. You know, prior to this, we would just use a basic adult you know, human mask, which doesn't really fit well. The nice thing with the pet masks, it'll actually fit over their snout, and you'll be able to deliver high, high levels of oxygen directly. Veterinarian Brett Ellis hand delivered these masks and hopes he can do the same thing for other emergency agencies in Greene County. And of course, pets now are part of the family, so uh, if there is something that can be done on the front lines to increase their survival, uh, then we all means should be able to get that out there so our firemen. He says every second counts. To have them be able to give them oxygen before they get to our office is a, is a great help to these animals to survive. Captain Kinley says by all means necessary, he'll do just that and hopes Xenia will be an example to other departments. Uh, being the owner of a golden retriever, you know, I think this is great that local fire departments will have these types of tools available in the case of a fire. Now, the mask costs about $70 a piece. Captain Kinley tells me he expects to have funds budgeted in the future to replace these masks when they break. I'm reporting live in the studio, Rob Sneed, 2 News.